welcome to Art Club. I'm Naz and I'm going to be creating with you today. I'm going to be showing you lots of ideas and inspiration um, linked to a community project that I'm developing at the moment that's quite close to my heart. And the theme we're going to be working with is lost connections and using your hands. So we're going to show you some ideas and some things I've been working on in behind the scenes style really, um, just to show you how this is really taking over my world at the moment. Um, so it's great to be back and nice to be chatting to you all and I really look forward to seeing what you're going to create. So the project is all about connecting with others. So at the moment with lockdown, there's been lots of times where we haven't really been able to be connected with others, share a coach, share a story. Um, and I've really missed the warmth and the kind of connection of others. So this project has started to develop in the community. Um, you have a few more weeks to get your artwork in. So the deadline is the 12th of December and I'll be looking for artwork and stories. So capturing things like the joy so what has given you joy? What has made you smile? Could be a chat with a neighbor, could be a coach with your family close, um, could be something you've watched on TV or a moment outside, any small thing that you've done or something you've created or learned in this time. Um, how has lockdown changed you? So have you been really busy? Have you been more relaxed? Um, have you got some lovely memories or maybe even something of kind of loss or worry or isolation that you want to share. So this is a really unique project and it's all about you. So it's about you sharing your stories and your artwork, which I absolutely love to see. So your artwork and story will form a blog, will form a digital gallery and will be on social media. Each day there'll be featured artists and I really look forward to telling your story and showing your artwork. So any form of artwork is acceptable. It's up to you what you create. So it could be a handprint, could be a photo, could be all your hands together as family, um, could be film, could be dance, could be animation, anything is possible, okay? Um, there is a community gallery as always with Art Club and if uh, you, land the featured artist there is a massive goodie bag here full of creativity and ideas for you to carry on making with um, and i also have a few collage packs here full of lots of fabrics and papers for you to create with so i have a few of those to give out to so i'm now just going to show you a few things that i've been busy working on as this project lost connections has taken over my home and my life um, it's been an obsession actually and it's been lovely to like share the work that people have been sending in and I'd love to see more of your work and each piece should be unique to you it's nothing it's exactly what you want to create it can be as quick as a drawing or a doodle or you can take much longer over it you can print you can do textiles you can stitch you can do poetry um, you can dance you can do movement you can do storytelling it's the it's endless what art form you'd like to choose so it's completely up to you um, as long as you feature your hands or in some way or other whether that's how you're making it or um, the story of lost connections all you need to do then is go onto the website lostconnectionsart.co.uk fill in a really simple questionnaire just about the joy that you find in lockdown or something that's made you smile, maybe something that you've learned or something that's changed you. Um, and then that's it. And then pop your work on there. You can hashtag Creep with Naz or follow us on um, Instagram and like us on Facebook at Art Club and have a look at what we're, we're up to and share your work. So I would love to see what you're doing. You, your work will form part of a community art gallery then. So it'd be lovely to see. So let's have a look at some of the lovely work that we've got here today. So there's a load online, there's blogs on there and there's a digital gallery. So you can have a look through and lots of ideas that have been sent in already. It can be videos, it can be just a, a snapshot on your phone. It doesn't really matter. Um, so I started quite monochrome really, black and white. This is like blackout poetry. You can have loads of fun with this. You can do this in a different way. I just did it with my clothes hand here. You could do with a felt pen or a pencil um, and you're just choosing words along the way until you make up almost a piece of poetry it's great fun um, and here just a little piece of it i've got um, the walking moon candlewick weeds a light at the door inside someone listening there was no sound so there's lots on there but it's really great fun to just create your own poetry quite natural there 
and this is how I started the project actually so um, you know I love making sketchbooks and there's an art club on tour making sketchbooks if you'd like to have a go um, but here I started with looking at the negative space I'm really interested in especially because I'm missing people at the moment I love collage I stained it with tea as I'm really missing seeing my granddad Miguel and having a cup of tea with him and sharing some stories and jokes um, usually bad ones uh, and just yeah really free ripped paper so it doesn't have to be perfect it's, it can just be expressive it's just showing a memory a journey or a moment so this is how I started thinking about the project so then let's pop that one back over there this is my mind splayed out here so this is how I start thinking about my ideas before they go in a sketchbook really so it just becomes quite natural there could be fine things around your home, like a tag from some clothes or something else that you can cut up. And you could even create miniature pieces. They don't have to be your physical hand, so you could create other things if you like. Could be animation or other things. If you, like, oh God, it's so, the list is endless really. So um, I could be here all day explaining, you're unique, you do what is right for you and what you enjoy. And it doesn't have to be any um, smart art materials, things from home recycled equipment, um, pieces outside in nature and leaves us lovely to use. Um, here is just a few examples of my prints here that I've been developing for the project. Really inspired by nature and leaves and vines and just that element of growth and change, especially the seasons. Um, and then a few others, flowers, patterns here. There's so many, I'm whizzing through these. Um, and then there's a few, I love old maps using here. So I have used a map of Newport here and connected to where the project has been developing from and bursting out here. So again, I've looked at the growth, I've looked at travel, of kind of where all the lines in your hands and the imprints lead you. Um, obviously back to lots of lovely people at the moment that I'm connecting with. And then here, it's almost like reminds me of the sunset and the sea or could be an imprint of a finger so it's just an, a window really and a connection to others because it's all kind of intrinsically going round in a circle um, i've printed the letters as well and the back is stained with tea so that's just another example here and that's how i got to developing the logo you could just simply print your hand if you've got some paints or something you can use and just print your hands. It could be a family piece that you do all together and could be using different colors or different backgrounds. You can collage, you're starting to build into a bit of color now, which I love. And you can even build things here out of clay if you like. So you can make your own clay out of salt dough. So just flour, water and salt here. And you could create some beautiful hands. These are Hamza-inspired hands here. So you could create delicate patterns and prints in there that you could just do with a pencil or um, even a cocktail stick or a fork or a knife and just um, kind of blend and shape those patterns into it. And then you'll see it kind of transcends into bits of colour. Um, so here then I love textiles and I love sewing. So I've started to create some pieces here they're still not completely finished so I'm just showing you my ideas as we go along and um, this one then I'll be built into a piece of a wall hanging I love pom-pom making and tassels here so I've added some other elements um, and then just to show ideas how they develop this was a broken necklace here that I've popped on here and I've just been really inspired by the kindness of others and then I've developed a bird here um, from that I've just a little design with some lovely colours that I can link onto a hand if I like. Or maybe I might do something else with it on the piece, I'm not sure yet, so I'm still working on ideas. So, you know, you can be as free as you want with it or you can develop something. You could crochet, you could knit, you could stitch, you could stick things together and collage. It's completely up to you. So I've shown you a few of my ideas. I would love to see your ideas and what you're going to make. So please send me in your ideas and hashtag create with Naz. So now you've had a look at a few of my ideas and things I've been making at home. I'd love to help you create some things and just show you a few ideas. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm just gonna show you a few bits of materials and equipment that might be useful to you and you may have lying around at home. 
One thing that's useful is a pencil, but you could use a pen or a felt pen or a crayon if that's easier for you. Um, so I have my favorite pen here. A glue stick is really handy to have um, just to kind of do your collage or your other makes if you'd like to. You may have some sellotape or anything like that instead. A scissors is really handy to have, just be careful it's sharp. Um, and just some sellotape. You may you want to use some PVA glue. And again, you can make this with flour and water. So you can do the old fashioned way if you'd like to, um, like my auntie Mima would have done. Um, and then some cardboard. I've already started cutting out some templates. So just some recycled cardboard is really handy to just have a really strong base. You could use old serviettes if you'd like to. Um, always a favorite in art club is a cereal box, definitely. So that's really handy um, to use. Also maybe foil, because you might want to do a foil art style, um, just like this behind here. So you could do um, colors and string and add things to your hand. Um, let's see what else I've got here. Oh, so much stuff. Cake cases could be really useful to add color and pattern on and texture if you like to. There's so many different ideas here. Old leaflets, old map pieces if you'd like to. They're, they're fantastic to draw your hand over or to take out texture and pieces and color. Um, I then start collecting up pieces that I like. So it could be old book pieces, old leaflets, and I keep them together in a little file or poly pocket just so I can go back to them. You might want to put them into color codes if you like. And then I just keep all my collage pieces in different files then so I'm ready to go. So this is an example of a collage pack that I'll be doing for you for Art Club. And then let's see what else. Ah, magazine. So you could use an old magazine, could be the free magazines you get. And there's so much color and texture and even words you can cut up from this. These are brilliant. And I think that's about it really for the materials. And then you can look outside. So look to nature. Think of what things could you use from out there. It could be twigs. You could make a whole hand um, in a mandala pattern with all the hands coming out of it if you like to. You could use autumn leaves. Um, these are gonna make me sneeze. Uh, you could also, here, I've dried rose petals. So you could do a whole nature hand if you like to. So it's having a look outside and seeing what's out there. Maybe on one of your walks, you could go. If it's rainy and wet, you could dry off the things and create the next day with them. So it might be good to go on a little hunt, a little art hunt, a nature hunt. And what could you create from that? Oh, and these are amazing. My mum collects, now I call them, <laughs> we'll see how many people call them this. I call them Tisky Toskies. So um, there's pine cones here. And oh, this one's amazing. So my mum has found some open ones, which are absolutely beautiful and look like a rose. And um, so those could be created into your hand, could be the palm of your hand if you like. So it's really endless. It's, it's really, this one is more about ideas um, than you all making the same thing. Because all of you are unique. So I'd love to see that, whether that's piecing your hand together from a puzzle, puzzle pieces or Lego. Um, I know lots of people have been using Lego at the moment. So it's looking at what's around in your home and then how you can create something together. It could be something temporary. So it could be something you just shape together into a hand and then put back later on, like a load of buttons. Um, I've created one here, which is a collage um, hand here. So I've put a clock on it. I've, what have I wrote on there? Just a memory I've popped on there. So there's got some words. It's got a butterfly, as I've seen quite a few in the summer. Um, when I've been inside and then lots of different textures on the fingers just to show different feelings so how could you show your feelings and your emotions could be color could be texture so it could be cool and warm colors so really think about how you're going to create your hand link to yourself and your memories and your thoughts and your feelings so let's have a look I could chat about this all day as you can tell because um, I'm just really passionate about it. I think I've really enjoyed creating and it's really helped me um, at this time to just relax a bit, to take myself into another little world. Um, so easy to start with. I've created some templates, but I'll just show you, it's up to you how you draw your hand on there. You could illustrate your hand or you can trace around it. So it's up to you. You can include your arm in it or not. So I seem to have chopped off the arms and just use the hands at the moment. So you can just trace around your fingers, take your time. 
because this takes a lot. This is my concentrating face. This takes quite a bit of concentration just to get right. And there you've got your hand. I'll bring that off there. And then you can either paint inside there or color it and collage it, or you can cut it out. So I always like to have layers with my work. So I enjoy cutting out and sticking and probably cutting out again in between. I also love ripping and the sounds of doing that. So cut all around your hand. And as I said, it's completely up to you what you do. So you could be making your own ideas while I'm making this. And then you can send them in to me so I can have a look and we can share our ideas. It's been really nice creating, seeing lots of other people's work and inspiration and actually seeing how proud they are when they see their work on display. It's been lovely to showcase everything that you've all been doing. So keep cutting that out until you're ready. It looks like a giant hand. And then you'll have your hand ready to decorate. But also what's really interesting is the negative space. So it might be nice for you to use that for something as well. So you could use two pieces. So for that one, I might just use a whole background. Wow, pop that underneath there. I'll stick that down just to show you this one. So we'll do a negative space and then we'll do a kind of 3D collage one as well. So take your time with this. As I said, it can be really expressive and it's about you. So there's no right or wrong way. Um, and also it's being creative with the materials you have around you. I think that's where I'm, I'm really excited to see. So then, let's move that down just a little bit. I've done it on the corner. So you could start with different color cards if you have it or, you know, dark card or you can add color to it as well. Let's go the other way actually. Every time. Right. I keep changing my mind. So third time lucky, here we go. <laughs> okay, so stick that down. Make sure you've cleared your space. Not like me at the moment, honestly. Uh, with all my static creativity everywhere so that you've got space to decorate it and then pop that on top. Well, that looks cool. I think you'll like this one. Especially any junk mail, have a route for your recycling because you might want to make a kind of plastic hand out of all the bits left over and see if anyone will help you with it as well. There's a bit missing off the top for this, but I'm not too worried. If I had more time, I would just collage a bit of a missing piece in there. But that's just a really quick example of how easy it would be to create your hand. That's like a negative space art there. So a bit of a collage and then looking at one, if you want to use the hand as it is and maybe layer it onto something else. You could do more than one hand as well. So you could do both your hands, you could do family hands, maybe make a sun ray. It's completely up to you. So with this one, let's use some of the collage pieces. So it could be found objects, could be things collected. Let's see, so I'll do the other hand the other way. Um, what's good to do is maybe start with the background and build up. But what's great about this is you can stick it all on, a bit like when we've made the paper bird, if any of you have made that with me, and then you can cut it out. So you don't have to worry too much. You can kind of have fun, take your time, and then you can always cut out afterwards. So I have some old colouring sheets here. So I'm just going to use those to be part of the fingers. So I'm just going for it here, as you can see. You can cut out afterwards and make it neater. So it's all about having a bit of fun and being expressive. And I've gone for a bit of a monochrome look here. It may change by the time I've finished. So as long as you're using your hand base, I'll show you in a moment then, you're fine to just keep sticking. As long as you've glued on your fingers or the hand pieces where you're going, you'll be fine. Let's see. So you can cut or rip, I rip quite natural and I just like the, the sound and the feeling of it. So you can keep going and it'll look quite chaotic, which I don't mind. 
at the beginning and then it'll start to come together. So don't panic too much for it to be perfect because it's all about creating something wonderful here and different. I may not use everything on here for once, I don't know. And do I go for a bit of a metallic? Thumb? So then you could carry on with this one, for example, and colour in all the black and white pieces. So you can just carry on, keep going until you've covered it all. So it gets quite addictive because you just don't want to stop, really. You could do one and draw it as if it's like finger puppets and you could put all your family faces on there or friends that you're missing at the moment. There we are. So at the moment, you can see at the back, that I need to just cut this out now and that'll look like a different piece of art in a moment. So to cut it out, go on to the other side and just cut around it. So this is where your gluing is important. Let's pop the lid back on that to make sure you've glued enough on the fingers so that when you cut it out now, it doesn't all fall off. If you've only got paper, that's fine too, but obviously a bit of card just makes it a bit easier to cut around in the first place. So take your time. So all this is to be enjoyed really. And maybe you could share out the jobs for this. So they could be a chief cutter, a chief creator, and somebody to draw some of the ideas. So it doesn't have to be one lone hand, as I said, you could do a few. You could do group hands together if you want to, family and friends. It might be a piece of something completely different and you might not want to use your physical hand. You can see I need to glue that a little bit more. So it just ran away. And then we'll pop a card. So I found a little playing card, which I'm definitely missing. Connecting with others. I'm very good at cards. Okay. And then I'm just gonna go mad with this one. I'm gonna add a bit of colour. So sometimes with the collages you might want to leave them and go back to them. You might want to collect more pieces out in magazines and keep sticking them on. So here I'm not going to put it around the wrist, I'm going to do something a bit different there. So you can then carry on your hand piece. So I might go down to the wrist as well here, but you can see already that started to become a really creative piece. Lots of pattern and texture here. Um, so I'm thinking about traveling, about time, about kind of playing games with my lovely niece. And here, just lots of symbols for things as well, which I could look into and talk about in my story. And I think what I would do for this one then is just add a few key colours. So once you've got your pieces together, if you have used kind of spaces or black and white um, images or prints, or you've drawn patterns yourself, you could do like a zen tangle, so lots of shapes and be free with it, then you can start to add colour. So it'll start to really pop and look really different. The colours I've used, I've gone for blue, which I think at times is quite thoughtful. I think of the sea, I think of missing people sometimes. Um, and then the sun is kind of the opposite, you know, so it's the, it's the warmth. Um, I'm getting off connecting with others and just chatting to you all, sharing stories. Um, and I'm just, I'm just missing that really. I'm missing adventuring with my lovely friends and family. So that's what my hand is going to say. So there's lots of sunshine beans. Um, so on the piece down here, I'm just going to carry on the pattern. So like we talked about Zen Tangle, just like repeating patterns. And then before my lovely pen runs out, as these are very well used, you can just start to create some repeating patterns and prints and have a bit of fun with that. So you can take your time with this. It's maybe something you create really quickly um, and finish like magic, or it may be something you want to take a bit more time. 
and care with and really think about why you're creating what you've put on there. What does that speak to you? How does it tell the story of your lockdown time? Or it may just be that this is, you know, something you just want to do, you've had fun creating. It's completely up to you, really. I've added a little bit of orange for a bit of a retro look here. My pens are not liking this today. So, and there we have your collage hands. What's another idea? So you've got the two ideas here. I've done one with the negative shapes and you could use pattern or colour, could be leaflets or things you've been collecting or cutting up that could go in there, just recycle bits of background and materials. And then here you've got the hand which is a more physical hand here that you can use, you could even pop on a stick if you wanted to, you could even, you could make it into a fashion item if you wanted to make a hat full of hands or something else, you're, it's completely up to you. This one here then is a more physical hand. So this is this is great fun. You can use this um, for fashion. You could maybe make a few of these to put on a hat. Um, you can make a mask out of them or a bird and really start to tell a story. So that's the beginning of my two hands here. So the deadline to get your artwork in, linked with the theme Lost Connections and Hands, is the 12th of December. So send us your artwork by then and you'll be part of a community art gallery. Also remember, the featured artist will win a crafty goodie bag full of wonderful things for you to carry on making. I really look forward to sharing your artwork. For more creative workshops, inspiration and ideas, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I really look forward to creating with you and connecting further. Hashtag CreateWithNav.